Cosrx was one of the very first Korean brands to make a wave among Western consumers. Interestingly, it's probably more popular in Western or other Asian countries than in Korea itself. It's one of my favorite Korean brands too. And over the years, I've tried many of their products. But did I love them all? Not really. So if the hype around this brand has convinced you to try out their products, this video is for you. Because today I'm going to share my personal top 10 best and worst products from Cosrx. The brand name Cosrx is a blend of two words, uh, cosmetics plus Rx, that means prescription. So the ideology of Cosrx is essentially creating products that can cure skin concerns like prescription products. I've never been a fan of marketing strategy where skincare brands make drug-like claims or claim they work like a medicine because in reality, they can't. Skincare products or cosmetics can never work like drugs. They fall under a completely different regulatory framework. Anyways, I disagree. Cosex started its journey in 2013, which is not very long considering its insane popularity in Western countries. It has eight different product lines and has won numerous skincare and beauty awards. So let's dive into the products I will tried from this brand and my experience with them. First, I'm going to talk about the products that work the best for me. The first three products from the best category all comes from the same line. Can you guess which line it is? It's easy. It's the called favorites nail mucin line from Cosrx. First up, Cosrx Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This was the very nail product I ever tried. I'll be repeating this a lot in today's video because Cosrx did introduce me to so many different product categories over the years. Anyways, if you've never heard about snail mucin, where have you been? Snail mucin as an ingredient is collected from live snails. It contains glycoproteins, glycolic acid, hyaluronic acid, peptides, and zinc. It's renowned for its healing, hydrating, rejuvenating, and soothing properties. I actually experienced all these benefits from this essence myself. In short, if you're looking for a hydrating, soothing, and healing product that also adds a glow to your face, give this essence a try. Next up is the Cosnex Nail 92 All-in-One Cream. This is definitely one of the best Korean moisturizers out there for oily to combination skin. It contains 92% snail secretion filtrate, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, and allantoin, all of which are very hydrating and soothing. The texture is a bit gooier than the essence, but it's very lightweight and absorbs well into the skin. Even I've used this moisturizer in summer despite having very dry skin. But the reason why this is the second best product I've tried is because this moisturizer helped me tremendously when my skin barrier was broken to pieces. So how it helped my skin, how I used it, everything I've said in a separate video. I've actually purchased and finished this moisturizer multiple times over the years. So definitely recommend it. Number three is the Cosrx Advanced Nail Radiance Dual Essence. I think this is the latest release in this line. It contains a triple snail complex, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and glutathione niacinamide. That means they have now introduced a brightening effect to their product along with the added hydration. I did notice a slight improvement in my skin tone after using this product, specifically in evening out my skin tone. However, I wouldn't recommend using this product primarily for hyperpigmentation. But it's still a great choice if you want to keep your routine simple and target dehydration and blemishes with a simple product. So that's it from the snail line. If you're not into snail and you're getting bored like, what's with all these snail products? Then the next product is for you, which is from their rice line. Number four, Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. Now, let me give you a spoiler right off the bat. This is basically a moisturizer. It contains 68.9% rice extract along with niacinamide. Rice is a pretty well-known ingredient used in DIY skincare for centuries. Personally, I actually avoid DIYs. But in this product, the rice extract has been formulated with other ingredients by chemists. So you can expect to get some soothing, moisturizing, and antioxidant benefits from rice extract. But what I actually liked about this product is that it's not that heavy, doesn't feel greasy upon application, and it gives a natural finish to the skin while keeping it well moisturized. There's no rule that you must use it overnight. Actually, I've always used it as a day moisturizer. Next on my favorite list is the Costrix Acne Pimple Master Patch. This is a hydrocolloid patch. And this is the first and uh, so far the only pimple patch I've ever tried. So what is a hydrocolloid patch? Hydrocolloid patches don't actually contain any active ingredient to treat the acne any faster. These patches are mainly suitable for red, inflamed, pus-filled pimples. Their main job is to help 
heal the acne by extracting the gunk and keeping the skin hydrated and covered. By doing this, they also reduce the risk of scarring from acne. Now, I don't get that many pus-filled acnes anymore. And I mostly use my salicylic acid and retinol for my occasional pimples. But I do remember that it worked quite well for me when I tried it a few years ago and I still have one left, I think. So I do recommend if you're struggling with cystic acne. My last favorite product, Costrix Oil-Free Lotion with Butt Slap. I first tried this product almost three years ago and for some inexplicable reason, I still like it a lot. This is the only Barsap product I've tried so far. There aren't a lot of research on Barsap except that it's very hydrating and soothing. The rest of the ingredients are very generic and common like glycerin, hyaluronic acid, allantoin, panthenol, but the formulation really works for me. It's very lightweight and non-greasy. Perfect for oily skin people who don't like the film-like feeling on their skin. But in summer, it works for my dry skin too. It helps to soothe and calm my skin. It also reduces the irritation if I have any. So this concludes my favorite product list from Crosserix. From Crosserix. Now it's time to share with you some of the worst products from this brand. But first, a quick important disclaimer. When I say the worst products, what I actually mean is that the, these cosmetic products are not my personal favorite or they don't work for my skin anymore. It does not mean that you should stop using them if they're working out for your skin. Some of the products from my worst list could be your favorite product and that's absolutely okay because we all have unique skin. That being said, let's get into the list. Number one, I know it's going to shock a lot of people. It's the Coserex AHA Whitehead Power Liquid. This was actually the very first AHA or alpha hydroxy acid product I ever used. And I really liked it at that time. Back then, I was just starting my skincare journey, didn't know much about AHA or BHA. And this product made my skin glowier than ever before. And I absolutely loved it. It's just that I've tried a lot other HA products from other brands over the years and discovered that some other brands make even better HA products. For example, both the Cosrx HA and the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner contains 7% glycolic acid, right? But I found out that formulation-wise, the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner works better for my skin. So that's my new favorite HA toner. But of course, Cosrx HA White and Power Liquid is not a bad product. It's just that it's not my personal favorite anymore. Maybe I'll try another new HA product that I'll, I'll like even more than the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. And that will be my favorite one. It's just like that. Number two, this is going to be controversial as well. <laughs> that is the Cosrx BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. Now, this product contains beta and salicylate despite using BHA on their label. This was my first BHA product and like the HA one, I liked this one as well. I loved it. I had some issues with textures and tiny bumps back then and this product certainly helped me to some extent. I also had a very few black hairs as I was much younger. It helped me back then as well. But as I grew older and my skin become matured, this product didn't work so well for me anymore. I realized that my skin was happier with the 2BHA, meaning salicylic acid instead of this betaine salicylate. But if you've never used a BHA product before or your skin is very sensitive, you can definitely use this product. But if you have matured skin like mine and you have acne or blackheads, this product won't do much for you. Number three, Three, the Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. A few years ago, checking the pH level of a cleanser before purchasing became trendy. I also went with the flow and started using a low pH cleansers. That's how I discovered it. And I liked it at first. It certainly wasn't as gentle as Cosrx claimed since it had betaine salicylate and was more suitable for oily skin. But my skin didn't feel much aggrieved after trying it either. Then something changed. Was it my skin? Was it my preference? I don't know. Or is it just my changing skin with my age? But I started to find this cleanser very boring and not very cosmetically elegant anymore. I'm sorry for not providing any solid reason for disliking this cleanser. But as I say, these are all my personal best and worst picks because this channel is all about me. Now, the last product of today's video, Costrix Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. Please don't hate me. I know a lot of you swear by this product, but that's absolutely understandable. I have a few comes with this product. Number one, the name is misleading. It's not so gentle that you sh it should be used daily. Number two, the pH is quite high. I believe it's nine and it's quite stripping, at least for my dry skin. Number three, yeah, 
it's a it's good for acne prone skin but i found better alternatives now like the cerave renewing uh, salicylic acid cleanser which is much gentler but works just as well so these were my personal best and worst product from Cosrx. Have you tried any of these products? How was your experience? Let me know in the comment section below. Also let me know uh, of a product that you used to like before but not so anymore. See you next time. Till then take care of yourself. Don't forget to love the skin you're in. This is Sara Diba signing off today from Diba's Quest.